Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day and if you're not, I hope you get to a little better by being here. Today, as the title says, we're going to be fixing my vans. Yeah. So in case you couldn't tell, I've maroon, navy, and black. Um, I love vans. I got these two pairs right before September and I got this pair probably two or three months ago. Probably three, yeah. Um, first we're gonna go through and just look at the damage on all of my vans, and then we'll go through with the fixing. So these are my maroon vans. They're my babies. Um, we'll just look at, so I got these shoes right before September. Um, I got them at the same time as my navy vans. I really, I so my first pair of vans was pink, and I really wanted maroon vans after. And I really like these. So the issues we have, we have a lot of missing line here. Um, the backs are, like the back of the logo is gone on all of them. You can't fix that. My shoelaces are pretty discolored and there's knots on them. Um, the, um, this is peeling a lot. But there's not a lot we can do about that either. The um, wave is a little dirty, so we're going to try and take care of that. But other than that, that's what we're going to work on on those vans. These are my maroon vans. I think I've worn them the least out of all my shoes. I do like them a lot. I bought them for my bat mitzvah because I really wanted to wear vans with my dress, but the maroon wouldn't go. So as you can see, the back is kind of messed up. We're not missing very much of the line here, just a little bit on like these creases here. Um, the shoelaces are discolored, but there's not a lot of work to be done on these because I don't wear them that often. They're just quite muddy, so that's an issue. These are my black vans. Um, these are probably in the best shape of all of my vans. I got these the most recent, and actually I did get them from Play-Doh's Closet, which um, is weird, <laughs> I know. I needed, I was looking for an outfit for a Radio Head vs. Oasis show that I was doing, and I had everything but the shoes, and we were checking out when I saw these, and they were going, they were going to go perfectly, so I asked my brother to get them. One of the biggest issues on these is the bottoms of the shoelaces, like these things, I don't know, they have a name, I don't know what it is, but none of them have the like plastic thing on them at all. The shoelaces are slightly discolored, but not bad. Um, and they're just a little bit muddy. But other than that, these are in the So, best as, I, as you saw in all of the videos of the vans, they are all quite muddy. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to clean them all down. We're going to do a wet paper towel, a dry paper towel, another wet paper towel, and then a magic eraser. And we're just going to see how that goes. But before we do that, we are going to just unlace all the vans. Here we go. I'll just show you guys. This probably isn't that exciting. Here we go. It's our first shoelace. This is our van. Wow, that's fun. Okay. I'm gonna take off the shoelaces for the rest of them and then I'll get back to you when I start cleaning them. So I did move inside while I was finishing the lacing, or the delacing, I guess, because there are bees outside and I'm afraid of bees. So yeah, the, for the rest of the video will be inside. Um, I finished delacing all the shoes. I did have to cut the knots off of one of the maroon van's um, laces because I didn't want to damage the holes. So it's time to move on to cleaning. So the first step that I'm going to do is I'm just going to try and wipe down all the mud that I can. I might end up just putting these in the sink and rinsing them, 
if that happens, I'll let you guys know. But then we have to let them dry for a while, which is unopportune, inopportune, sorry. English, that's hard. So yeah, I'm just wiping this down, trying to remove all the mud that I can from the soles first, and then we'll work on the canvas. I'll let you guys know when I've finished cleaning off all the soles and the canvases and other parts of the shoes. Okay, so we finished cleaning the shoes. We did our best. Um, it's not 100% perfect, but all the um, waves are clean, which is great. And I'm staring at the sun, which is why I'm not making eye contact with you. And yeah. So now we're going to get some shoe glue out because we have a lot of holes. So I'm going to show you all the holes now. Okay, on my blue van here, we have a nice hole right there. And then we have a hole down there. There are no holes on this shoe, which is nice. So that pair is done. Gonna grab. So we have a hole here. This is the black van. We have a hole right there. And a, okay. And then we have, let me go here. A hole right there, so we have to fix that. We have that same thing on this shoe. And a little bit of a rip right there. So we gotta fix that. Chip, that's my dog. His name's Chip. So on my red van, we have no holes on the front. No holes on the back. These are these skate lights, by the way, which is why they're different. And finally, no holes on the back, no holes on the front. All good. So uh, the shoe glue I'm using is shoe goo. It's transparent. Um, I'm probably just gonna use one of these bottles. This was um, like five dollars. So in case you curious. So we're gonna start with this shoe right here. Just gonna open this up. Now we're gonna, I'm just gonna put it like right there. Hey there, it's editing CC. Um, there's a little bit of a gap in the footage. My camera decided to turn off. But basically what happened, um, I put glue on the shoe that I was holding. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay, so this is the other black van. So I'm gonna. Oh, you guys can't see this. Hold on. Yeah, we'll just do that. Okay, so I'm gonna start. It's gotta be really careful when you open it, it shoots right out. Okay, yep, it does exactly what I said it does. So we're just gonna oh, put that in there. And then for my extensive research of 30 seconds of playing with this on the first shoe I know that you have about 30 seconds to put it exactly where you want it so I'm just putting it exactly where I want it now so that's gonna set right there so we did that now it's time to get that hole. It's our next van. I'm just gonna clean that off. So that is the second black shoe all done. I'm going to finish the blue shoes off camera. So I finished gluing all the shoes. So I didn't have to glue anything on these. So we're going to move on to fixing this missing line around it. This might not work at all, but we'll see what happens. So before we do anything, we're just going to make sure it's the right color. So I'm just going to 
do a little pencil on the paper here. So trying to use like minimal paint. I don't want to mess anything up. So it's a little purplier than I would want it to be. You can see. So I think I'm going to go get some like reds and browns and try and fix that. So I just did the blue and it matches perfectly. So we're gonna do the blue right now. Um, so there's no missing paint on this side. On this side, it's just on right there, you see. So we're just gonna try and patch that together. A little bit missing right there too, so we're gonna fill that in as well. Okay. So I am actually just gonna put paint right there because it's wearing down a little bit so we're just gonna brighten that back up I guess right, so that is finished so we're gonna move on to the other shoe now So again, on this inside little thing, it's missing, and then this outside bit, it's beginning to wear off. And that leaves a little bit of a divot down the other end of it. Yeah. Looks pretty good. That's all for this one. Yeah, I'm gonna go see if I can fix my maroon paint issue now. So as you can see, I painted just a little bit of paint right there and it just does not match. So I'm gonna try and find something that does match this. So I mixed some paint and I'm pretty sure it matches, but we're gonna just do a test right now. I'm just going to do that little bit right there. So this is what it looks like. You just need a little bit of a thicker coat right there. But I would say it matches pretty well. I'm going to do this shoe and then show you what it looks like at the end. So this is it after the first attempt. The top's a little messy. I'm going to touch it up with white paint afterwards. Um, yeah, but I think it's a pretty good match, and I think it looks really great, sure. so really happy about it. Sure. No, sure. not the goal. Follow Grace. How pretty. Okay, so it's been almost a week since the last segment that you saw me film, and we have made no progress. Um, I bought the laces. I actually did lace my black shoes because I needed shoes. Um, so they look pretty nice with the new laces. Um, 
yeah so i'm gonna lace the other two and then we'll do the final reveal i guess so i'll see you guys when all the shoes are done bye so i'm back yet again i just got my eyebrows done which is why they're so red but it is still the same day we finished lacing the shoes that's a dog that that that's a dog <laughs> um I'm gonna just gonna give you like the final results of all the shoes now. So, so these are the black vans. They are probably the easiest to fix, and Chip is hungry. Stop it! He's also deaf. As I was saying before, these are probably the easiest to fix. It was just some shoe glue there, and then on the bottom on the other one. And then I relace them. I've been wearing these the most because they were like finished the first. So that's why um, they look like they've been worn since the cleaning because they have been. Yeah, the new laces make them look so fresh and clean. And I really like the way they look. And now I know they probably won't fall to pieces on me for now, which is nice, isn't it? Next up, we have my maroon vans. These were the most work to fix and they probably came out the least impressive. Um, the line is all the way around. It's a little messy, especially on this shoe right there, but I'm really okay with it. Like it still looks cleaner than it did before. Um, the laces are so much nicer than the, than the laces before. There are no knots on these and I will be able to tie them, which is very, very good. Um, yeah, I think these turned out pretty nicely, obviously. It's not going to be perfect because I'm not an artist or a shoemaker, but I think I did pretty good and I'm happy with the result. So here are the navy shoes. These are probably my favorite outcome that we had um, because the glue on the black shoes was kind of vis visible on the top. But here, like the holes have been patched. Um, the, this looks so nice. Like the painting looks really good on all of it. Like none of it's messy. The laces match this so perfectly. And I just think they, like, overall look kind of like new shoes, which is fantastic. Um, and I'm really happy about these. So, yeah. All right, you guys. Well, those are my shoes. That's how they turned out. As I talked about in, like, the reveal of all of them, I think it went so, so well. And obviously, I don't, like, think this is something that anyone has to do. And I don't recommend it. It was a lot of work. And I couldn't wear my shoes for a week, which was a struggle. Um, but it was really fun, and now I have three nicer looking pairs of shoes, almost. Um, and yeah, so if you guys liked it, please give us a video a thumbs up and um, comment down below what else you'd like to see because I already ran out of video ideas. Um, yeah. <laughs> Alright, well, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, bye. <laughs>